Today we're going to talk about why people who go raw vegan or who start a juicing routine don't heal themselves right away. Whether it's a week, six months, two years, 10, 20 years, doesn't really matter. This video I'm going to talk specifically about a very important thing, the difference between healing and just eating. And a lot of people get stuck in this little box, this little box, this routine of just doing the same thing. It's, it's insanity, really. And so I was, I was stuck for several years when I thought that I was doing all the right things, eating the raw food, doing the juices, doing the recipes, doing the enemas, and I was missing a really big key, key feature, a uh, key important part of the healing journey that pr I would say, I mean, 99% of people skip it. And so... I just got done working out and I'm gonna make breakfast. It's noon. Typically, I will do coconuts. Uh, I got some coconuts, some really good looking coconuts over there. I do two coconuts and then I go to the gym or I go surf and then I come home and I either make fruit, uh, like a bowl of fruit, cut open a watermelon, a papaya, or I make a juice. And so today I'm gonna make a green juice while rapping about uh, really people that are stuck on their healing journey because it's, for me, being around a lot of people who have had digestive issues and cancer and a lot of overweight people, people just still don't understand what it takes to really heal their health issues. And they think that just by going raw, I did, I mean, I w I'm guilty of it. I'm just a normal dude who picked up some info, started da-da-da doing the things, and then it's, things started working more and more, I started learning. But at the beginning, I thought I knew everything, and now I'm realizing that I know absolutely nothing about health. <laughs> but I, I mean, I do. I do have a lot of experience. But when I first began, I, I thought that just juicing was going to cure me up, you know, do a 30-day, 60, 90, 100 days on juice, and that would fix me up. You know, I'd get rid of my Crohn's disease. I had the worst of the worst Crohn's disease known to man almost. And to be honest, I probably should have had my intestines removed. <laughs> the doctors would have loved that. That's what everybody was suggesting. Um, today I'm making a, a green juice, okay? It's like a green juice pineapple. So I got mint, uh, celery, lemon, uh, kiwi, and one or two pineapples. I got the most bomb diggity looking, epic, super ripe local Bali pineapple. So that's going to be my breakfast for today. So I'm going to juice this, put it in the thing, and I'm going to continue talking about why people aren't healing, okay? And to be honest, I mean, everybody skips it. Everybody skips it. And I know I'm the juice dude, and I've kind of, and in some ways I'm kind of lost with, you know, my, what to do with my channel, Jeff Juices. It's because I discovered juicing, I mean, pretty early in my journey. I was healing on like animal products for like three years and luckily I, I found veganism and I found detoxing and raw food. And so I, I made the switch pretty quick. And, and the first thing was like, boom, Garrison therapy, which is 12 juices a day, cooked, cooked vegan food, coffee enemas. Did that, boom, it was cool, healed a bunch, cool. Uh, started seeing parasites, started seeing inflammation go down, brain fog, brain clarity. Pfft started skyrocketing, but my intestines weren't really healing, okay? So in there was the mint, here's the celery, and then I spent like two heavy years just juicing my ass off. Every single day, at least half to three quarters of my, my food intake, my caloric intake, was juice. For one, because I thought the juice was the actual thing that was gonna heal me. I didn't really understand how the body worked. And so what, what it really came down to was that because I had such severe gut issues, I needed to take a break from, from the fiber. And so in a, in a major way, not eating solid food very much and going on like 90 days here and, and 30 days here, 60 days there of just liquids, just juicing, it did help a ton because juicing is epic. This is to me, what most people will see the most benefits from is from the daily juicing habit. And the reason it's so effective, to be honest, is because it replaces what most people would typically eat, which would be bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, or, ooh, I got a little worm there. Ha <laughs> ha. If there's a worm on your celery, you know it is organic. That is amazing. So 
you know, for me, what happened was I started juicing. I did like two, three years on mostly juice and people thought I had an eating disorder. And it's like, well, my intestines hurt and digesting fiber sucks and it makes me throw up. So I don't have an eating disorder. I just don't want to be in pain. So, you know, <laughs> not to be a jerk, but you don't know anything about me. And after I did that for a while, I started seeing major healing happen. And that was great. Every month or every two months, I'd see a big increase in my health. But after about four years of raw food and juicing, I hit a wall. And I see this happen with almost every single person. It doesn't even matter if you're the most experienced raw vegan or fruitarian out there. Eventually, you hit a wall if you came from having some sort of health issue. And so here's, here's the real gist of it. Juicing doesn't, juicing doesn't heal you. Because what does heal you? Let's talk about it. Let's get right down to it. The only thing that heals you is you, this thing, your body, this big old meat suit. This is the only thing that can heal you. And what juicing and eating raw food does for you and your body is it gives you hydration for one. And for two, it gives you a, a, a big increase in overall energetic capacity. And so when you're eating food that's, I mean, I say this so often that you know, I feel a little repetitive, but when you're always eating very hard to digest processed food, heavy fat, heavy protein food that takes anywhere from one to six days, like cooked seed oils, uh, to leave your body, to leave your intestines, to leave your cells, that's going to be a problem. And so when you go from eating a cooked animal diet or processed food diet to raw food and juicing, of course you're gonna heal. Even, I mean, people don't want me to say this, but when you go from eating cheeseburgers to just eating steak, of course you're going to heal. You're gonna see a big increase in your health. I did in some ways, but it's not because steak heals you. S steak, <laughs> I, you know, we're not even gonna talk about vegan or carnivore or whatever, I don't even give a shit. Part of my French, but food doesn't heal you. What did heal in that time period was you had an increase in digestive energy. The energy that it takes from digesting processed food is so much greater than just digesting steak. And so on top of that, you also eliminated a lot of chemicals. So boom, people are going to heal a little bit. But say you've been on raw vegan food for two years. All right you're gonna go from raw food to juice and you're gonna see a bunch of increased digestive capacity. And so, because fiber takes longer to break down than just the liquid form, the nutrients that are in the juice, you know, when you extract, boom, look at that, when you extract the liquid from a juice, this fiber right here, this, I mean, this is essential, this is beautiful. We need this long-term in our diet. But when you go from eating raw vegan food to juicing, what happens? You free up a bunch of energy. It's so much easier to digest juice than it is fruit. And so, boom, you heal a bunch. But this is the main key. You have to listen. If you take away one thing from this video, it, it should be this. When you go from eating fruit to juicing, you free up so much energy, but eventually your body adapts to heavy juice and a heavy fruitarian diet and it just becomes your regular caloric intake. And so when you free up that energy and it becomes routine and regular, your body adapts. And so, so let's say you're six years now, you got arthritis, and while you may have healed a lot of your skin issues, you didn't heal your arthritis. And why is that? It's because food doesn't heal you, okay? Juicing and raw vegan food is amazing and it should be the bare minimum of what people do but it is not healing okay and so most people get to this phase in their healing journey where they hit a wall and so you might have seen amazing results in the first i'd say year to two years of your healing journey and you 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 found the glory of raw food you understand it you got the clarity you know you found uh, a little more uh I guess groundedness with your with yourself but those main health issues that are really caused by the intramuscular injections when we're when we're toddlers when we're babies those things 
really destroy the glands, the central nervous system. They get lodged into the brain and it takes a lot longer to eliminate this stuff than just simply changing your diet. And so most people don't look at what really is healing and that's fasting, okay? And a lot of people don't wanna talk about it and I, I go back and forth with talking about it and, and investing all of my energy into talking and teaching fasting because it has been so transformational for me. But most people, I mean, to be honest, most people aren't even gonna drink a juice daily. So, so you know, I, I personally have been going through this battle of like, wait, what direction do I go? I'm, you know, everybody that I meet is like, Jeff, juices, what up, dude? You literally just live on juice? It's like, no, I, I pretty much just eat fruit. I, you know, I don't juice that much, but I'm Jeff Juices, and that's kind of just been the name that stuck with me. But it's like juicing was really just the first thing that I discovered when I came on this raw food healing journey. And the cool part about juicing was that I saw a massive increase in my health. And a lot of people do. A lot of people will heal their chronic health issues with just switching to the daily juicing habit and some raw food. And that's badass, that's super awesome, guys. But a lot of people won't. A lot of people who are really chronically sick, who ate Pizza Hut and chicken wings and did a lot of drugs, I did a ton of drugs, a lot of cocaine, a lot of weed, and so much meat, so much meat and dairy and cheese and soda and candy. And that stuff completely destroyed me. And it's destroying everybody. And so in order to go from processed food for fuck, thir I, I, gotta, I gotta watch my lip. In order to go from processed food to full regeneration, to full perfect health, I mean, nobody wants to hear it. I'm gonna say it exactly like it is. It's gonna take at least, you guys ready for this? I'm gonna say it. It's going to take at least Nobody, nobody even wants to hear me say this because it's not politically correct and, and it's too much work. It's gonna take everyone at least three to five long water-only fasts. I said it, boom, there it is. Water-only fasting is detoxification. Eating fruit is kind of detoxification. Of course, when you go from switching to standard diet. Juicing, even when you go from raw food to juicing, Yes, it is detoxing, but the ultimate, the true form of human regeneration is water-only fasting. And here's why. Because food doesn't heal you. Healing is a biological process that was built into our anatomy, into our genes. And when you stop eating completely, even raw food, even when you stop eating raw food, you start to see absolute miracles happen. And so when you're eating raw food for two, three, four years, you get some health issues cleared, and then nothing really happens. There's no gains being made. There's nothing else you can do than to water fast because everyone, even me, even the people who have been juicing, we're looking for outside answers when everything we need is right here. It's built into our, our meat suit. It's built into our structure. It's how our body works. It's how every species on earth, it's how their body works. We're born to eat, we're born to sleep, we're born to shit, we're born to pee, we're born to fast. Those are the main things that our body does and we're really good at it. And so we have mastered, <laughs> we have absolutely mastered the art of eating. I'm still a crackhead for food. I still love eating fruit and salad and juicing and sugar cane and coconuts and durian. Don't even get me started on durian. Wow, it, I mean, we are all addicts. We're drug addicts, okay? And so we need to just stop eating and let our body do what it was designed to do. And when you stop even drinking juice or even coconut water, when you go on a complete water-only fast, for anywhere from seven days to 45 days, you see absolute regeneration of the human body. And this is, this is what happens when you stop eating. Your body starts to metabolize its own tissues. And what happens when you do that is all the little structures, all the little scar tissues, all the little inflammation, all the degenerated cells that have been in your body sitting there not really needing to heal or not needing to be eliminated, 
they start to get converted from toxic matter or damaged and dead broken cells into fuel. They start being converted into glucose for your body. And so your body will sit there and it'll start eating up all the inorganic things that are lodged inside your tissues that a lot of those, uh, those parts that are stuck in you have become dehydrated too from eating chronically constipating and dehydrating foods like potato chips and pizza and bread and things that have very low water content in them, they become dehydrated. And we need this hydration to be able to eliminate it from the body, okay? And so a lot of people, you know, say that dry fasting is twice as effective as water fasting. And it's like, well, it's not true. Your body, your body needs to be properly hydrated when you're fasting in, in order to eliminate waste. Okay. And oh, we're going to do probably about a liter and a half today. And so when you're, you know, when you go on juices, epic. That's cool. You are in some way rehydrating certain things. Absolutely. And so detoxification is really, it's just rest plus hydration. That's what healing really is. Um, the reason I'm straining this is because all juicers, every single vertical juicer will still have some pulp if you're juicing apples or greens. And so if I just juice straight up pineapple, I don't strain it. But if I'm going to juice greens, there is going to be some pulp from that mint. And so I'm just going to strain it real quick. Um, yeah. So, so basically you got to free up the energy from the digestive tract and even drinking juice takes metabolic energy and cellular energy from your body. And it takes a lot, you know, even drinking juice. A lot of people think that juicing is fasting. Juicing and eating raw food, you go on a mono fruit fast, it has nothing to do with fasting. Uh, it doesn't bother me per se when people say I'm going on a fruit fast, but it's just incorrect. You're, when you're eating or when you're drinking juice, it has absolutely nothing to do with fasting. Fasting is the absence of calories and nutrients. And so the only thing that is fasting is when you stop eating or drinking anything with calories in it, you know? And so, so when you go from juicing to a fast, then you start seeing absolute miracles happen. And I personally have, I mean, I'm like, I'm really into fasting now. And I kind of come on these YouTubes, I'll do, you know, three, four videos, and then I'll disappear for like six months. And it's because I, I, I'm going through some stuff in my own life, healing some mental, mental traumas and, and stuff from my childhood and just some addictions. Uh, but it's really like I do a lot of fasting and I'm still kind of working on myself. And a lot of people are like, dude, you, you've come so far in your healing journey. And it's like, well, dude, I'm like at the beginning, yo. I'm like at the beginning and I might be getting my, my physical body like really healthy compared to what it was. Man, like once you heal the physical body, that's kind of like just the beginning. Then it's like, okay, then let's heal the mental. Then let's heal, heal the spiritual. And that's where the real work is. The real work is like getting past the physical body. And I feel like, to be honest, that's like the easy part. It's hard. It, like doing the juice and doing enemas and exercising and rebounding and I mean, it's hard, like absolutely, it's really freaking hard, but look at this juice, okay? But what happens when you start to get really clean is that you realize it's, this, this, I'm just on autopilot right now. I, I fast, I do a long fast for at least seven, 10, 14 plus days every six months. And then on top of that, I do like one, one to two to three day fast, either once a week or once every other week. And with doing that, I have, I have seen absolute miracles happen just in the past, like, year, okay? Whoa. Look at that. Amazing green pineapple juice. If I had ginger, I would put ginger in here. I love ginger. I didn't see any at the farmer's market this morning. Dude, that's just insane, okay? So I'd like to pause right here and just tell you that if you're starting on your daily juicing habit and you don't have a juicer, I use the Nama J2 juicer. In my opinion, it's the best all around juicer that you can find for many different reasons. And if you want, you can get $55 off using the code Jeff10 with the link below in the description. This juicer is amazing. I use it pretty much every day and I've gone through so many juicers and I absolutely love this one. 
So many people online have used this. They bought it. They love it. It's also got a 15-year warranty. It's super easy to use, clean, it's quiet. It's the best user. So anyway, back to the regular program. So you're stuck. You've been on raw food five years and you're not getting anywhere. What are you doing? That's the definition of crazy. Just thinking that you can eat every day. Oh, I'm going to eat mono fruit today or especially the people who are like, you're doing too much fasting. You know, you're, I don't really want to get too deep into that because it kind of like throws people off. And I don't want to talk smack on anybody in the healing world because I support everyone, but there's a lot of people who think that fasting is extreme and it's, it's actually the exact opposite of extreme. It is the most unextreme thing that you can do for yourself, your body, your mind, your colon. And so a lot of people think that you need to go slow in your healing journey. You need to just take it easy, man. Just eat fruit, have some gourmet salads every night and do, you know, a, a cup and a half of cashew dressing on your salad every night and eventually you're going to heal your cancer. You might alleviate some tumors for sure. You might get rid of some symptoms, but to, to eliminate the waste from your body, consistently eating fruit, juicing and eating salads, it's never going to happen. Will you return back to full functional body? Maybe, yeah. But will you eliminate all the waste in your body from your previous life? Definitely no freaking way. Not even close. So I see all these people who've been on raw food for like 5, 10, 15 years. They think that they're healthy, but I know, I see them. I be, I've been around so many people who have done one, two, three, four, five, seven long 30 to 40 day water fast. And these people are insanely vibrant. Their eyes are crystal clear. No wrinkles. They could be in their 50s. No freaking wrinkles energy out the wazoo, their digestion is perfect, the flattest freaking stomach, and they've done the work. They might have been raw for 10 years, but they've fasted like crazy. And so most people think that fasting's, you know, extreme, but it's, it's, it's the opposite. And it's, it's unfortunate that so many people in the raw food world don't understand fasting because they skip it and they never really uh, allow themselves to achieve what they could physically and, and spiritually and emotionally achieve if they went on a 20 or 30 day fast. And so for the people stuck, you, didn't, you did the juice for four years. It didn't get you where you needed to go. You guys, the answer is fasting. Fasting should be the first thing that we turn to. Okay, there's a famous quote that I've said it a lot let food be thy medicine and medicine thy food. So many people have heard that. It's from Hippocrates. But most people don't really know the full quote, the full length of it. And this is the key. This is the key right here. Let food be thy medicine and medicine thy food. But to feed a man who is already sick is to feed his sickness. Boom! What does that tell you, you guys? That tells you that fasting is the answer. It should be the first thing that we turn to. I was scared. I found fasting, juicing, fruitarian, raw food on the, on the same day. But to me, water fasting seemed really extreme. And the more I started researching it, when I hit that wall in my healing journey, then it was, I, I knew that that's what I needed to do. I wasn't getting any healthier. And then I did my first long water fast of 19 days. I was super skinny. People thought that I was, even before I did a fast, people thought that I was like anorexic or something. It's like, well, I can't absorb food. My intestines haven't healed. Then I did that 19 day water fast. I got a bunch of videos on that. And then boom, it opened up my entire world. And now I don't really even do juice cleanses. And I, I haven't done a juice cleanse in three years because I, I found water fasting. To me, there's no point anymore. Because once you experience the elimination, the, the amount of elimination that comes out of your bladder around day 15, day 16, day 17 of a water only fast, you start, you start smelling, you start dumping chemicals out of your armpits and the mucus that you start coughing up when you get in those upper days, once your tissue starts to really get hydrated, that's when the healing actually happens. So juicing, epic. You guys, juicing is the base. This is a bare minimum. This is a supplement that you should be doing. But after you've been doing it for a few years, it's just your diet. You're not going to heal anymore. And I don't want to be a dick and really bum people out and, and disappoint people that they can't heal on juice because I do see miracles happen all the time with lots of people who do the daily juicing habit. But if you've gotten to a point 
and it hasn't taken you any higher, there's a reason. It's because juicing and raw food is like the bare minimum. That should just be what we're eating. And then we should take these periods to fast and then rebuild on raw food, okay? So my program, my personal program now is it's, I mean, it's, it's the perfect program for everyone, not just me. This works for everyone. Fast for as long as you can, not by yourself if you're going to fast for more than a week. Get experienced guidance. Fast with somebody that knows what they're doing, who has fasted people for many weeks, who understands raw food. And then eat a raw food diet. And a lot of people, I've fasted many people. And a lot of people, I've, I've even had this experience with people who I've fasted where they're, you know, four, four or five years on raw food, a lot of juicing, a lot of juice feasts. And then they do a fast, you know, 20 plus days, and then it takes them six months to recover. And then they finally recover. But in that six months, then they start to doubt it. Then they start to doubt the water fast. And it's like, well, you guys, it, to, to do a three or four week fast, it's going to take one, two, three months to, I'm talking full recovery. And so you might think that fasting might be extreme, but now I see them and it's been like eight months and they're absolutely thriving. Amazing weight, muscle, they're perfect, you know, and, and they're like, well, you know, I think I, I didn't probably need fasting. It's like the only reason that you are where you're at right now is because of the fast. It has nothing to do with the food you're eating or the diet or the, the well-roundedness of your food. It was the fast. I even have people who, who have fasted for 20 plus days who were vegan before they fasted, did a 20 plus day water fast and then went to carnivore and saw a lot of benefits. And they're like, oh, it's, it's because of the meat, the meat healed me. It's like, are you retarded? You just fasted for 24 days. It has nothing to do with the food you're eating. It's because you eliminated so much backed up uh, constipation, cellular constipation. You rehydrated your glands. You got your kidneys flowing. You got your liver and your pancreas functioning. That's why you feel good. But then there's also these other people who have fasted and then gone on raw food and then they think the fast is extreme and they don't, they don't attribute that the reason they feel good six months later after 10 years on raw food is, oh no, it's because now I'm eating uh, within a certain time. When, no, 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 dude, you fasted for 25 days. That's what healed you and it took six months to recover from it. Understanding health is so incredibly basic and simple. When you are sick, you stop eating, you lay on the freaking ground and you sleep and you sip water and you rest. Most people aren't willing and most people can't go the length of time it takes to fully regenerate their self with one fast, whether it's just 10, 20, 30, 40 days. So we need a few of them because we're so toxic. All the chemtrails, all the chemicals, all the contaminants in our water and our food source, all that stuff, it's gonna take a lot longer than just one or two water fasts to really get that stuff out. And so while you might return back to perfectly functioning, you don't really understand what you could achieve physically, mentally, or spiritually until you undergo a long water only fast. And so that's what I really want to pinpoint on this talk today is that if you're stuck, you're just raw food and juicing is like the bare minimum, you guys. That's just, that's like the daily food intake. You can't just fast for the rest of your life. You got to eat. And so juicing should just be the normal thing. And then every six months, every year, you gotta take these periodic two to three, four week fasts until you get back to perfect health. And so what I'm seeing in myself and with other people that are kind of following what, I, what I'm doing, absolute game changer, the level of hydration, the level of physical endurance, mental clarity and stamina, all the little tiny things that just were kind of still lingering, they're healing now. And so I've done, in the past two and a half years, I think seven, seven plus day water fasts, uh, two 19 day fasts, a 14 day, two tens, a seven, a six day, a four day. Last week I fasted for four days. Uh, I just fasted yesterday for a day. Fasting is the answer, okay? It's not eating. Eating doesn't do anything. It clogs you up even more, even if it's raw food. It slows you down. And so we need to do these periodic fasts. And so that's it. That's my spiel. I really hope that you guys uh, took this to heart because it's like so many people are just focused on the food. And while food is sexy and I want to eat gourmet food and salads and, and these beautiful like sushi dishes and stuff, 
food doesn't heal you, you know? And so I wish that there would be a lot more people, even in the, the juice feasting world, I wish that there would be more people talking about water fasting because it's not hard. It's definitely not easy, but if you just take it one day at a time and you do it at a fasting center like Tanglewood or True North, it's way easier. You're around people that fast. You're around, around people that are feeling like crap. You understand the process a bit more. The more you know, the more you educate yourself about fasting, about healing, detoxing, the more it makes sense. And if something makes perfect sense, then it's not that scary. And so when I started reading books and watching videos for months on end about fasting, then I was like, oh, oh I have to do a fast. This is easy. I already knew what to expect because I had seen so much. And while I have had horrific, you know, my first fast was horrific, it was life changing. And most people will have a pretty relatively easy fast. You know, it's, it's like an extreme flu. Every day it gets kind of worse. Some days you feel fine. Some days you're just tired and, and weak. And then other days you've, you've, you're going through some stuff. But in order to get here, like really get up here, you got to go through those stages of deep detoxification. And you got to go through paying the price of, you know, committing the sins against your body. This thing right here is a gift from God. And when you're eating processed food, when you're jabbing yourself, when you're driving through traffic every day, when you're being lazy and not moving your body, when you're thinking toxic thoughts, when you're watching porn, when you're watching binge watching Netflix, uh, when you're thinking and just talking smack all the time, when you're gossiping, these are sins against our brain and sins against our body. And they show up in physical form in uh, the case of disease, dis-ease. It's when, when your body stops functioning perfectly. And the cool part is that we can reverse that with fasting and hydration and even to some degree raw food. You know, obviously there's lots of people that heal themselves with raw food, but it's not the food that was healing them. It's, it's really the, the change, the shift in energy. And so that's it for today. I'm going to go surfing. I'm going to chug this damn juice here. I'm going to let y'all go. So thanks for joining. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button below. If you guys got any questions about anything, type them below. And if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can send a direct email to me at jeffjuices at gmail.com. And using the NAMA J2 Juicer, $55 off. Jeff10 is the code at the link below. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Peace.